first wave of the set. It's been starting off at nine point rides. Let's have a look, here she goes. Nice clean wave. I'm sure she's been getting excited watching Carissa Moore. Beautiful opening maneuver there for Steph Gilmore. And again, nice and tight in the pocket. Nice little cover up for Steph as she comes out of there. Great opening ride for Stephanie Gilmore. Nine point rides to kick things off in her last few rounds. And there is the matchup. Steph Gilmore up against Silvana Lima, who has been surfing exceptionally well. Dropping some big scores, looking for those tube rides. These guys have been rivals for quite some time. And I think we're gonna have an unbelievable heat on our hands, Joe. Such a fun heat on paper pots, I love it. Stephanie Gilmore, Silvana Lima, these two were going head to head for so many years. And let's look back on Gilmore's opening ride once again. Yeah, well, Steph Gilmore's been starting her heats uh, with absolute bombs, and this is no exception. I mean, have a look at that first turn from Stephanie Gilmore. And again, nice and tight in the pocket. This wave, quite a speedy section, a little cover up there to finish things off. So a great start for Stephanie Gilmore. Three judges dropped eights and a couple of sevens, averaged out to a 7.50, Joe. It's not the nine that she's been getting, but a great way to start nonetheless. A little bit of a different approach on this one because of that wave being such a quick one. She couldn't really afford to get that board all the way back around. It was more of those. Making a move now under Silvana's priority. Slamming on the brakes, always stylish. Not barreled just yet, she'll go to turns. Jams it under the lip, nice and deep. Gilmore disappears. And the foam ball takes her down. One of the best barrel riders in the world. It made you so large in the boot. Oh. You were getting so inspired. What do you like about this one? I, I just like the approach. I mean, I like that casual bottom turn. I'm trying to mix it up. Obviously, a 7.50 on her first wave. Now she, I like the footwork from Steph Gilmore as she slides up to the front of the board. Now, a lot of the time... Months ago, I was in a spot of just worrying about requalifying. So I'm just, um, like, enjoying every moment. And I think, you know, Tyler's going to be really tough to beat. Definitely. Uh, Barton Lynch made an observation earlier on in the event. He said that he felt like the Surf Ranch contest, the specialty event, which didn't count towards the world title. A clean slate and everyone had the same um, same, wave, same wave to work with, so it really got to just like do what, you're, what, you, what you can do. We've got some waves coming and we, I want to get to the booth in a second, but I mean, if the world title doesn't happen for you this year, you must be absolutely rubbing your hands together at the prospect of the events on the schedule next season. Jeffreys Bay, Karamas, and obviously the Surf Ranch, where you've already had some success. To put herself in this shot as a world title threat, as we see a beautiful exchange, Gilmore in the Tiger's Den once again. <laughs> absolutely fantastic from Steph Gilmore, looking to back up that 7.5 and going for it on that, that turn. Again, through the lip, so a series of critical turns at the end of that wave, and I'll tell you what, she needed that. Why? Because watch this wave from Silvana Lima. Looking for the, the sliding barrel, didn't happen. Huge first maneuver. Off the bottom, off the top combo. Again, critical stuff from Silvana, and then she just goes for it on that turn. So the whole bottom deck of the board there, critical stuff from Silvana Lima, and what a way to answer back to Steph Gilmore. Silvana Lima, a seasoned vet, Tries to lock in on the takeoff. She'll bottom turn, now slamming on the brakes. She's waiting this for this thing to open up. She will get barreled. Next thing you know, she's getting picked up and sent over the falls. Here we go. 3.20 on the clock. Lima still needing a massive score of an 8.31. She'll pull in. Nice positioning on the first barrel. Looking to slam on the brakes again, not quite deep enough. So she's got to go for something big here. Stretched out float, comes down with the landing. Had nothing close to that, so let's have a look. This is the view the judges have. Did she disappear? Only momentarily. And then on the second section, not really. So, you know, we, we spoke to Dave Shipley earlier, and, you know, you're going to need to spend a bit more time in there to get those big scores. Go back to uh, Carissa Moore's barrel. It was a bigger set wave. She was driving through the section. I mean, this is pretty. It's beautiful to watch, but it's not going to be the score. Savannah so Lima told us she just can't help herself on this wave. She said one of the hardest parts in her first heat was just trying to burn off some speed <laughs> at the right time. Gilmore keeping her world title hopes alive with the lead and driving down the line on a Honolulu Bay special. She'll lay back with that first card. 
another tight jam in the pocket for Gilmore. He's got the lift to hit, big free fall, stomps it. Around the corner, little speed jam for Gilmore, looking to finish, close out section, oh. a challenging one, and she's down. Great last event for Savannah Lima, and uh, she's gonna go into next year feeling confident. Stephanie Gilmore keeps her title hopes alive as she's off and running into the semifinals here at the Maui Pro. 